Hello Leo, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about the person that you are thinking about or connecting with. What are their thoughts, feelings towards you at this time? And what are their intentions towards you in the future? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so it won't resonate for every Leo watching. And not every Leo reading on my channel will resonate for you. Need energy for Leo. Need energy for Leo. Okay, we got sweet dreams. Fantasy, daydream, imagination. This connection is more than you dreamed of. Wow. That's good. Bottom of the deck, we got reach out. Contact, touch, communication, reach out with a gentle touch or a sweet message. Someone could be reaching out to you here. And maybe this will be a sweet surprise. Something you've been imagining. So let's see, what are their true intentions or feelings towards you? Using the Soul's Journey lesson cards. Their true intentions or feelings towards Leo. Spirit, what are their true intentions or feelings towards Leo? Their true, in, oops. their true intentions or feelings towards Leo. Okay. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. Okay, I keep getting these kind of messages in these readings that I'm doing. Bottom of the deck, worry. So someone could be worried about whatever happens next in your connection or what doesn't happen. So what potential actions or energy are they bringing to this connection? Potential actions or energy that they're bringing towards this connection with Leo spirit. Potential actions or energy that they're bringing. What potential actions or energy are they bringing to this connection with Leo? Dry desert. Hmm. I'm gonna look at that one real quick to see what that's all about. 31. Bottom of the deck, home. Interesting. Let's see. What's 31 about? Uh this card reminds you that there are times when you're meant to become resilient as you journey through harsher circumstances. You're being required to conserve your energy until after consistent effort, you reach the oasis you're searching for. Whatever it is you're asking about will not be found in the conditions you're in until you move past the surface of things and choose to do the real work and discover the answers deep within you. This is a most important place to find out what's truly right for you. Interesting. So I feel like your person needs to realize, and we'll see if the tarot, what the tarot says, but it's almost like they need to still figure out the work that is required to overcome this regret. You know, it's almost like they're still kind of wandering and trying to figure, like seek answers about what it is they truly want and how to get it. And that it's going to take work, effort. So let's get into the tarot. For Leo. Spirit messages for Leo in regards to love. What do they need to know about this connection? This will not resonate with every Leo watching as it's a general love reading. So keep that in mind. Do not try to make this fit if it's not your story. Check out your other placements if they're more prominent in your birth chart. Sometimes those can resonate a lot more than your sun sign, your rising, or your Venus, or your moon. 
All right, so what are the main energies here? What can you tell me about the main energies in this connection for Leo and this other person? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Ace of Swords Reverse. Deception, bad communication, or no communication. Tell me more. Well, oh, okay. That's way too many. I just want one. Tell me more. What are the main energies in this connection spirit? Okay. Hermit. Yeah. Kind of goes with that dry desert energy. Um, Virgo here. Virgo energy with the hermit. You could be with a herm a hermit. <laughs> It could be with a Virgo. It does not have to be. Bottom of the deck, I have a two uh, cups reverse. So there might have been some sort of separation here between you. So let's look at their true intentions. What are their true intentions or feelings? Spirit, what can you tell us about their true intentions or feelings towards Leo? The true intentions or feelings towards Leo. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. If you enjoy the readings, please consider liking the video and subscribing. It helps the channel grow and it's free. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who has left me such kind comments. It does not go unnoticed. I read them all through feelings or intentions. Okay. We got temperance, Sagittarius energy. This is all about kind of blending two very different things together in harmony. Um, having patience and moderation when it comes to having something work out here. Um, timing as well. Nine of Pentacles and the Ten. Not, nope, the Nine of Cups Reverse. Well, hey, I was I thinking the Ten. The Nine of Cups Reverse. Someone's wish has been delayed or just not. It wasn't. It was probably granted and it wasn't what they were hoping it would be. Um. I feel like whatever your person's regretting, they're trying to come into balance here. With the hermit and this and the temperance energy, this is all about kind of taking the time to make something happen, to figure something out. So we're going to clarify all of these, but let's first look at potential actions or energies that they're bringing to this connection spirit. Potential actions or energy that they're bringing to this connection. Potential actions that they're bringing to this connection. What potential actions or energy are they bringing to this connection with Leo? Ah, nice. Look at this. Knight of Pentacles, beautiful. Very, very slow offer. They're, this person is really taking their time. Um, even if they wanted to move quickly here, or maybe they're just thinking of just straight up success here. Um, but even if they wanted to move quickly, they're not. They're really taking, I, I just get that sense that they're taking their time to figure something out. Potential actions or energy they're bringing to this connection. For Leo. Five of Wands reverse. So no longer wanting to fight, no longer wanting to argue or have conflict or drama, wanting to have some sort of truce or compromise here. Perhaps they think that this offer they're bringing is going to help with all of that. Potential options they're bringing to this Knight of Wands reverse. Yikes, what in the world? What is this? There's that worry or fear at the bottom there. Hmm, I'm going to have to clarify that Knight of Wands reverse. Typically, they are very impulsive. Um, don't really think before they leap. Um, don't really stick around for a long time or can stay committed to something for long. They're restless, erratic, um, 
Very, very different to this Knight of Pentacles. It's almost like this person is worried or anxious, fearful, because maybe they were this Knight of Wands reversed in the past and they think that that's all you're going to see. Or perhaps they weren't able to commit to you in the past. And, you know, even though there's regret, there's also this knowing deep down that you don't have to take them back. You don't have to accept this offer. And it's their own fault if that happens. So I'm going to use this cute little deck here, the Centen Centennial Edition. So let's clarify. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Leo. Let's get to the bottom of this. Let me clarify these energies for Leo. These are so cute. Let me clarify these energies for Leo. We'll start with the, this Ace of Swords reverse. What happened with this Ace of Swords reverse here, Spirit? What happened with this Ace of Swords reverse? Six of Wands. What happened with this Ace of Swords reverse? Four of Swords reverse. This is something that hasn't been said or communicated and someone's like ready to talk. They're ready to move. They want a new beginning, a new cycle here with the world. What else can you tell me about this Ace of Swords reverse? What else can you tell me about this Ace of Swords reverse? There's that Five of Cups regret card right there. And then the Sun Reverse. I feel like this person has not been very, um, they're not feeling very happy right now. There's disappointment, remorse over the past, all focus on the past here. I feel also like this is hidden from you or, or they've been hiding how they truly feel here. And again, I have the world at the bottom. Tell me about the hermit. Am I the hermit here? Three of swords reversed. How to heal a situation? Yeah, this is a very heartbreaking situation. Someone I feel has had to figure out their own emotions here. This is like big heartbreak, uh, emotionally being depleted. But someone with three of swords reverse is beginning to heal or is wanting to heal something and is trying to figure it out. Can you get one more for the hermit? So that I did want to come out the cherry reverse cancer energy feeling stuck needing to change direction choose a different path here again it's like they know they have to choose a different path because the path they're currently on is just disappointment after heartbreak and dealing with this regret I don't think they can handle it tell me about temperance hey you guys want to take that somewhere else sorry my dogs are playing in the background Tell me about temperance. King of Pe whoa, King of Pentacles reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there. Tell me more about temperance. The star. Again, healing energy. Aquarius energy here with the star. It's like, you know, renewal, hope, faith. Nine of Cups at the bottom. It's like this is, they have a wish and they're trying to make it work. But with the King of Pentacles reverse, it's almost like they have no, um, they're unable or unwilling to really give you, I feel, what you deserve. And I think that's why this Dry Desert card is here and why this Knight of Pentacles is here. They know they have to step it up. 
they know it's going to take work. Will they do it? Tell me about the nine of, oh. Tell me about the nine of cups. The nine of cups here. The nine of cups here. Yeah. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. I feel like there's delayed, this is a delayed wish. They have the, their emotional fulfillment, their satisfaction, their wish being granted is being delayed. I have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom here with the Queen of Wands. They want something and it's delayed. Tell me more about the Nine of Cups reverse. The Nine of Cups reverse here. King of Cups reverse. I don't think they're coping well with the fact that something is delayed, that their wish is delayed. It's like they want things to work and, you know, they need to be careful because if they're impulsive, they can sabotage themselves. And I have the Five of Swords that just fell out there. So if, if they're not careful, if they don't come correct, if they slip into this Knight of Wands reverse energy where it's very erratic, impulsive, not thinking very clearly about things, they're not going to get their wish. Yeah, here I have the Knight of Pentacles with judgment. You know? Sound judgment. They need to look at things clearly here. If they want a second chance, they need to do things right. Maybe they're starting to worry that they're taking too long. Oh my God. And there's a seven of uh, pentacles at the bottom. Wow. Yes. They're starting to wonder if, if this is ever going to happen, if they're taking too long, if this is the right thing to do, the right way to go about it. Um, you know, this is, this is a card all about investment, effort. Well, tell me about this Knight of Wands reverse. That's way too many. Tell me about this Knight of Wands reverse. Oh my gosh, what is going on with my cards? I just want one or two. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> oh yeah, waiting. Yeah, waiting tower reverse. It's like they're becoming restless by the waiting that they have to do, the planning, um, all they're focused on is avoiding a tower. And so in their mind, they're getting probably very impatient. You know, they're motivated by how they feel, by love, by wanting stability, wanting, you know, a home, a partnership. Look at this. This is their motivator. They want this. Either they want this back or they want this with you. Tell me about the Knight of Wands reverse. Okay, get one more for this Knight of Wands reverse. Seven of Wands reverse. Three of Pentacles reverse. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So it's almost like your person is um, Seven of Wands reverse is all about kind of being ready to give up, giving up the fight, no longer fighting, no longer being defensive or guarded. And then I have the Three of Pentacles reverse. Something's not working. Someone needs not putting the right amount of effort. It's almost like they, they were resisting something with you, whether it was commitment, moving in together, love, um, whatever it was, there was some sort of resistance here. Um, almost like your person was guarding themselves from this connection from you. Um, what, I don't know why, but I feel like they're kind of trying to let that go. But at the same time, just because you're letting your guard down doesn't mean that you, you know, it's almost like just because you're opening your heart doesn't mean that there's also like, that's it. You have to actually put in work after that. You know, there's effort that needs to be put put in here. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands reverse. Yeah. 
nine of pentacles again. And the high priestess. The high priestess and the ace of pentacles. Very interesting energy. Nine of Pentacles, independence, stability, security. Someone that has everything that they could ever want, except for love, maybe. I feel like you have it all. They see you as this Nine of Pentacles. You don't need anybody but yourself, Leo. And so it's like they're working in secret for a big offer here. An opportunity like they're secretly admiring you secretly appreciating you um, you know recognizing your worth your value so once again it's it's almost like this energy of I need to really step it up but can I you know is this someone that can step it up and keep at it you know, can, you know, this words are not going to be enough here. There needs to be action behind what they're saying. And they've really been thinking about what to say, how to make this offer. I have the Knight of Pentacles upright twice here. This is a very slow, steady offer. I have someone that has a wish here. They have a wish. 